you can't be doing that bad. I did ask how y'all doing today. I'm telling you what, I'm mayor of this town, frontier land, and I haven't been to heat many like this in a good four or five years. So my name is Ed Dangler. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our beloved frontier town for today's Shindig Hoot Nanny. How about a big round of applause for our town's very own Bluegrass Jamboree Band. You guys are awesome. My, my frontier folk, today is a special day. A day so big, we decided to have us a big old party. We're singing and dancing and a very, very big announcement. Are you ready to hear that big announcement? Well, I guess it's time to get started. I believe we have an update on the three outlaws we've been trying to capture around here. Let's bring up our sheriff, Sheriff Jason McClure. Alright, thank you Mayor Dangler, much obliged. How's everybody doing? You have some new information. As you know, we've been looking for three outlaws way back in April. We warned you that they're coming. And we've been keeping an eye on the other side of the tracks for some time. And we knew we had some serious explaining to do. But to fully understand these outlaw story, you have to understand the whole story of Frontier Town. A story to be told of our rich history and what's coming in our future. All right, roll the moving picture machine. Once a sleepy whistle stop, founded when the Iron Horse made its way westward. Frontier Town, with its natural resources and raw beauty, captivated many a traveler. Soon a boarding house, saloon, and restaurant established the beginnings of the town, followed by grist mills, blacksmiths, and assorted craftsmen. Then, along came a silver-tongued stranger named Maverick, who settled in, purchased land, and established a mining company that brought prosperity to the town and a fortune for himself. With power came influence and a disregard for anyone or anything unsuitable, outdated, or outspoken. It took a trio of outcasts to forge together, once sent away from the place they called home to right the wrong that had befallen the beloved frontier town under Maverick's reign. Quiet Digger Dempsey, a reclusive inventor, ready to reclaim his mining company. Chess, Wild One Watkins, a fierce and fiery cowgirl, never to be wrangled and always resisting the status quo. And their leader, Jackson Blackjack Chamberlain, Tall, commanding, and the master of the old deck of cards. They've returned with a menacing and twisted machine so big and brazen, the likes of it have never been seen. The tallest of its kind. The fastest speeds. The wildest maneuver they ever attempted. Upside down, inside out. with the steel vengeance but you know the more I learn about them I'm not sure they're outlaws they're not here to do frontier town harm I realize now they have a score to settle with Maverick and in fact I kind of like what I'm seeing these outlaws they're rolling in like thunder with steel vengeance the tallest fastest wildest hybrid coaster on the planet and it's gonna put frontier town back on the map They're staking their claim with a roller coaster so tall, yet again, Cedar Point's created a new classification of roller coaster. The first hybrid roller coaster over 200 feet. The only hyper hybrid coaster in the world. 
Yeah, these outlaws, they're wild and unruly, just like Steel Vengeance. It combines smooth steel track on an awesome wooden structure, allowing riders to experience maneuvers you never thought possible. And you guys met Blackjack. You know, Blackjack's tall. Just like Blackjack, so is Steel Vengeance. 205 feet tall. Right before dropping you on an amazing 90 degree angle. And you know that Digger, we met Digger, he's fast. And just like Digger, Steel Vengeance is fast. Reaching speeds up to 74 miles per hour. And how about Chess? Yeah, that girl, she's wild. And Steel Vengeance is the wildest ride Cedar Point has ever created. Four, uh, four inversions, multiple transitions. It's a very fitting ride for Frontier Town, our little slice of the Wild West here at the roller coaster capital of the world. And in order to stand alone in Frontier Town and dare I say challenge Maverick for supremacy, a coaster would have to be bold and daring, and Steel Vengeance is both. It will definitely give Maverick a run for its money, and there's nothing better for the prosperity of this here town than two rival coasters going head to head to deliver thrills for those of you brave enough to ride. All right, so what do you think? You guys brave enough to ride? All right, let's take a front seat ride right now. Uh, roll the moving picture. Tony Calamity Clark. We love you, Tony! How y'all doing today? Raise all them hats in the air and give me a yee -haw! Well, happy National Roller Coaster Day, y'all. My name is Deputy Tony Calamity Clark. Welcome to Frontier Town. There's so much to tell you about Steel Vengeance, I gotta page my way all the way to it because there's a lot done to get to. Steel Vengeance is gonna knock your boots off, y'all. This hybrid roller coaster has literally everything a roller coaster fan like me and a lot of you could ever want. And it breaks a lot of records. You ready to hear them? Yeah! It is the tallest hybrid coaster in the world at 205 feet above Frontier Town. It is the fastest hybrid roller coaster here in the world at 74 miles per hour. It is the longest hybrid coaster in the world at 5,740 feet long. 
It has the steepest drop of any hybrid roller coaster on earth at 90 degrees. It has the longest drop of any hybrid coaster in the world at 200 feet from top to bottom. And it has the fastest airtime hill on any hybrid roller coaster at 73 miles per hour. But we ain't done, no! It has the most inversions of any hybrid roller coaster, four packed into this ride. It has the most airtime of any hybrid coaster in the world, 27.2 seconds of airtime. But that's probably not good enough, is it? It has the most airtime on any roller coaster on Earth at 27.2 seconds. And it is also the world's first hyper-hybrid roller coaster, and we are proud to have it here in Frontier Town. We're going to add to those records, though. There's five more here at Cedar Point by adding this coaster to our lineup. The most roller coaster track on Earth at 11.4 miles of track. The most steel roller coaster track at 11 miles. The most coasters in one place, over 200 feet tall. Six amazing coasters that clip eclipse the 200 foot uh, height level. The most rides of any amusement park in the world at 71. And this one's a good one. The most roller coasters with a first drop of 90 degrees or more. There are five of them in one place here at Cedar Point. How's that sound? So Steel Vengeance has so many great attributes that you're going to learn about as we build toward its debut in May. But if I may, Mayor and Sheriff, I think they disappeared. So I'm just going to take, a, take this opportunity to a, a, announce another special announcement. How many of you out there play the game Planet Coaster? If you don't, you need to pick it up today and play it on PC. I'm excited to announce today that Cedar Point has partnered with Frontier Developments, the studio behind the games Elite Dangerous, Lost Winds, and of course, my favorite game, Planet Coaster. And with Planet Coaster, you can immerse yourself into the amusement park experience as you surprise, delight, and thrill incredible crowds while you build your coaster park empire. You can let your imagination run wild and share your success with the world. Planet Coaster gives players limitless freedom to build rides and scenery piece by piece with advanced management simulation gameplay and a connected global village where everyone can share in the creativity of other players. This exciting partnership between Cedar Point and Frontier Developments is a first of its kind. And today I'm happy to tell you that Planet Coaster players can download an exact replica of Steel Vengeance to play in their own simulated theme park. Right from your home, you can watch as the ride comes to life right inside the game. This Steel Vengeance update is free and will be available to all Planet Coaster players beginning today at 12.30 p.m. through their Steam library. How about that, y'all? Spread the word, download Planet Coaster, purchase it, play it today, and ride Steel Vengeance in the game. And now, I'd like to bring up Frontier Town's own crazy inventor and designer, Rob Leaky Pans Decker. Rob? Leaky Pans. Thanks, Deputy. Yeehaw! How you doing out there today? Oh, fantastic! <clears throat> I feel like I have a frog in my throat. Maybe we shouldn't eat that frog this morning. But I gotta try to muscle through it here because I'm gonna talk to you about innovation today. You can't start a conversation about roller coaster innovation without having Cedar Point in that mix. Cedar Point is a legacy park, building many roller coasters of scale and defining new classifications of roller coasters. We were the first park to build a roller coaster 200 feet tall. The next one came at 300 feet tall. And of course, you know the story. The other one, 400 feet tall. Tallest in the first to be of those categories. So the Magnum XL200 was the world's first hyper coaster. You can go back to 1989. People couldn't believe it. They thought it couldn't be done. But we did. We built the roller coaster that came to number one in the world. Not to be outdone. The year 2000, Millennium Force on the scene. The first giga coaster above 300 feet tall. And were we done? 
Come on, were we done? All right. Top Thrill Dragster, 2003. A Stratocoaster up into the stratosphere above 400 feet tall. And here today, we define a new category, a hyper hybrid roller coaster. First above 200 feet, and this is going to be the wildest ride Cedar Point has ever built. So let me tell you, what's a hyper hybrid coaster? It's a combination of steel over wood. So you get the smoothness of a steel ride and all the dynamic. But you get to weave through all that beautiful tapestry of wood in the meantime. So you get the wood coaster experience and feel and look, but you get all the steel, the attributes, the airtime, and all the dynamics and everything the finest engineering and innovation of today can bring to this ride. So we don't do this alone. We are very fortunate to work with the most innovative partners in our industry. And so what I'd like to do is I would like to thank our partners in this. The crew is here today. Before we get too far, I'm going to bring up a real cowboy. Grew up on a ranch in Wyoming. He's a true pioneer who's blazing a new trail of roller coaster design and engineering. The founder of Rocky Mountain Construction, Fred building this roller coaster, we are so proud to be chosen for this project. Um, we are so blessed at the same time. Just to be able to work on something of this magnitude and to work with the Cedar Point team has been amazing. It takes, it takes a group to do this. It's not just us, it's the Cedar Point team also. Um, Alan Schilke, the premier roller coaster designer of the world, my partner, he couldn't be here today. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he couldn't be here, but he is, uh, he is the best designer and the best engineer I've ever met in my life. And I'm so happy to be able to work with him, and uh, I know he would like to be here. Um, this is the biggest undertaking RMC has, has taken on. It's a huge mammoth roller coaster. It has more tricks, more elements than we could even name. Uh, the ride is going to say it all. When you get to ride this, it's going to say it all. This coaster is really going to be hard to beat. This is one for the record books. Obviously, it sets all kinds of records, and uh, we're, you know, we're just blessed to be able to work on it. Uh, the, the work that goes on on this coaster, it's, it's very tr tough. It's really hard work. It, I want to I wanna talk about the real people who built this, and that's the people. That are, they're all standing right over here. It's our crew that works on these jobs. We, we manufacture, we ship the product out. Uh, there's so many people to thank, but I want to name a few. Uh, my daughter Amy, Phyllis, Lynn, Anna, Jake, Damian, Josh, Mike, so many more. And, you know, I'm so proud of you guys to, uh, you know, you guys do this stuff and it is, it is amazing what, what you do. So I want to thank you. You guys, raise your hand up, okay, so these people can see you. Okay, they're all there. These, these are the guys that do it, okay. There, I promise you that this will be one, one for the record books, and you are going to enjoy this ride. I'm going to turn this back over to Ed Nangler, and it's a darn good thing we're better builders than we are speakers. <laughs> Wow, almost for a loss of words. 
But I'm a mayor. I can do it. I'll figure it out. All right, folks, what do you think? Is this going to be wild or what? Yeah! I'm thinking number one roller coaster in the world by next year. Yeah! I got some information I need to share with you. Make sure you check out cedarpoint.com for all the latest updates through the winter and our progress on this ride. And if you want to get a head start on next summer, you can pick up your 2018 Platinum Pass today for the lowest price of the year. Right here today. Just stop by the Season Pass Center at the front gate before you leave. We also have a New Steel Vengeance t-shirt for sale. Just head back to the shed over near the Gossip Gulch. And uh, that's a get one. And all you media folks, we'll be bringing you into the construction area.